Hello, can you solve for A in this nice Germany Olympiad maths problem? We want to look for a specific value for A, or can A have more than one value? Let's find out. To solve for this, we are simply going to take the log of both sides. Because simply put, we cannot find the value of A because 90 cannot be simplified such that we'll have a common base with 9 and uh, the exponent or the powers will have to equate to give us the value of A. That's not possible. So since that's not possible, what we can simply do is to take the natural log or the log of both sides. And if we take the log of both sides, we are going to have the log of 9 to the power of A equal to the log of 90. In the next step, you will recall that if you have a log of B base A, this can simply be equal to B multiplied by the log of A. Now from this result, you can see that A multiplying the log of 9 will simply be equal to the log of 90. Now in the next step, what we are simply going to do to find the value of A is to divide both sides by log 9. Now if we divide both sides by log 9, divide the right hand side by log 9, we're going to have log 9 cancelling out log 9 and then we'll have our a to be equal to the log of 90 divided by log of 9. Now in the next step, what we are going to do is just to simply simplify. I want you to know that 90 can be equal to 9 multiplied by 10, right? If 9 multiplied by 10, then we'll have the value of our a to be equal to the log of 90 multiplied by 10 and all of these will be divided by the log of 9. In the next step, let's simplify for them. I recall that according to the multiplication law of log written, log of a b will simply be equal to the log of a minus or plus the log of b. So this is the multiplication law of log written. So that is going to give us a to now be equal to the log of 9 plus the log of 10 and all of these should be divided by the log of 9. And I can now separate this to give me the value of our a to be equal to the log of 9 divided by the log of 9 and this will be plus log of 10 divided by log of 9. From here, 9 will cancel out 9 to make the result to be equal to 1. And then we'll have 1 plus log of 10 divided by log of 9. In the next step, we are going to simplify further. Now, to simplify further, we are going to look at 10 to be equal to 2 multiplied by 5, right? And recall that 9 can still be equal to 3 to the power of 2. So we are going to simplify that to give us a equal to 1 plus 
log of 5 multiplied by 2 and all of these will be equal to the log of 3 to the power of 2. In the next step, we are going to separate that to have a to be equal to 1 plus log of 5 divided by log of 3 square plus log of 2 divided by log of 3 square. Great. Now, in this aspect, we are going to now consider our a to be equal to 1 plus. This is now going to give me 1 log of 5 because this is actually 5 to the power of uh, 1, and then we'll have 2 log of. 3 plus 1 divided by, divided by multiplied by log of 2 divided by 2 log of 3. So in this part, we are going to see that we'll have our a to be equal to 1 plus 1 divided by 2 log of 5 divided by the log of 3 plus 1 divided by 2 log of 2 divided by log of 3. So what do I do from here? From here, I can finally simplify, remembering one good law of logarithm. Do you recall this? That if the log of A divided by the log of B is dividing the log of B, uh, this can simply be equal to the log of A base B, right? So if we apply it here and here, we are simply going to have the value of our a to be equal to 1 plus 1 divided by 2 log of 1 divided by 2 log of 5 is 3 plus 1 divided by 2 log of 2 base what 3 and this remains the solution to the value of a that satisfies that expression given to us up here so you see very easy now, I want to check to find out if our solution is actually right. And to find out if our solution is right, what we'll simply do is to insert the value of a into the original expression. Now, to insert the value of a into the original expression, the original expression, we are giving 9 to the power of a equal to 90. So we'll have to check to see if this is actually correct. If we insert the value of a equal to all of this into this, will it give us 90? That's a swift question. Now let's try it. We'll have 9 to the power of 1 plus 1 divided by 2 log of 5 base 3 plus 1 divided by 2 log of 2 base 3. Now will all this be equal to 90? Now from that expression, you will see that if you have the from the law of indices, 
that uh, a to the power of x plus y can simply give you a to the power of x multiplying a to the power of y right we we'll apply that here we're going to have 9 to the power of 1 multiplying 9 to the power of 1 divided by 2 log of 5 base 3 multiply by 9 to the power of 1 divided by 2 log of 2 base 3 now will all of these be equal to 90 now recall that 9 is equal to 3 what 3 square so if we replace that with that expression we're going to have a 9 to the power of 1 multiplying 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by half log of log of 5 is 3 and this will be multiplying 3 to the power of 2 multiplying 1 divided by 2 log of 2 base 3 now will all this be equal to 90 now from this expression you see that 2 will have to cancel out 2 2 will cancel out 2 and then will be left with 9 multiplied by 3 to the power of log of 5 is 3 and this will multiply 3 to the power of log of 2 base 3 and will this be equal to 90 now in this expression you're going to conclude that will have a 9 multiplying recall the law of logarithm that if you have a to the power of log of b base a and this will simply be equal to b how because this expression we have to cancel out b and this logarithm and then we'll have b to be equal to b now if we apply it here from here you can see that 3 will cancel out 3 and then 3 will cancel out 3 what do we have remaining we have 9 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 2 can this be equal to 90 5 times 2 is 10 10 times 9 is equal to 90 so 90 is equal to 90 which tells us that this mass expression which is what we got here is actually the solution to the mass expression given to us up here now, i do know you did enjoy watching this mass solution don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mass content. Thanks so much for watching, and bye-bye for now.